Hello and welcome to this week's Behind the Cloud. Sticking with the practical theme, today we're going to be showing you how to enable and set up a data form project within BigQuery, connect that all up to GitHub, and then initialize the initial workspace, get it all committed and all synced up, ready for beginning to build a data form project. So without further ado, let's jump over into GCP. So first things first, we're going to need BigQuery enabled. So let's go up here and select BigQuery enable. And there we go. BigQuery is enabled on the left hand side within the BigQuery menu, you'll see data form. So we click into data form. You can see right now we have no repositories. So we're going to click create repository. Repository ID, this can be a unique name within this project. Let's just call it demo setup repo region. Important to put this in the same place where a majority of your data is going to be sitting within BigQuery because it's going to make life a little bit easier. So I'm going to put this in Europe and then a service account. It's not always advisable to use default service accounts for production stuff, but for initial setup and getting things going, um, it's fine. Just once you're ready and things are, are ready to be pushed live, go set up a service account that has only the permissions it needs to do what it needs to do. So I'm just going to stick with the default for right now and click create. Fantastic. So the repository has been created. So I can just click go back to repositories and then I can see that here. So now you can click into this repository. You can see we're in our repository menu. What we'll do first is we'll jump over to the settings menu. In here is where we can see a few different pieces of information about the setup. So we can see the name, location, service account. At the top here, you can see connect with Git. So I'm just going to click that. And then you can see there's a couple of different ways of connecting into GitHub. We're going to connect to it using HTTPS. So click HTTPS. Then we need our Git repository URL. So it's worth noting that you'll want a repo set up on GitHub because that's what you're going to connect to your repo within BigQuery and Dataform. So I just created an empty repo here, which just has a readme file and nothing else. What we're going to need to start connecting this up is we're going to need the URL, which can be found within this code block here. I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to head back over to BigQuery. So we'll place the URL in here. We'll put in our default branch name. In our case, currently the default is main. So we'll just type in main. And here's our secret. And the secret is a Google secret, which is our GitHub token. So these GitHub tokens are created within GitHub and they give the, the token a specific set of permissions against your GitHub repositories. So there are certain set of permissions that it's going to need in order to perform its actions. Get a token, head up to the top right hand corner of GitHub, select settings. Right down at the bottom, you'll see developer settings, personal access token, and then you can either use classic tokens or fine grained tokens. It may be best to use fine grained tokens and give all of the access that's needed. So I'm going to click generate new token and give your token a name, expiration, um, and the description so you understand what it is, and then specify only on selected repositories and select the repository that you want it to link up. There's all the different permissions within here. You can find more information about those permissions that need to be granted within the documentation because I don't have time to do it in this video. So I've now set everything up, I need to in here, and now I'm just going to generate the token. Here you'll see your token, keep the safe. Once you've copied it, you're not going to be able to re you know, you're able to see it again. So now we head back over to data form where we're going to add in this Google secret. And these are secure encrypted ways of accessing sensitive information. So you can place the secret within secret manager and then data form can access securely that secret without it being seen publicly. Only services and people with the correct permissions are ever going to be able to see and access those unencrypted tokens. So to do that, we're going to need to go into secret manager and enable that API. Most of the free tiers within Google are very generous, but it's always worth keeping a note that none of this stuff is technically free and you are at some point going to pass those totals. Once we've done that, we're in Secret Manager here. We can click Create Secret. Let's call it Demo Secret. And then we can add our secret value into the box here and leave everything else as is for now. Create Secret. And there we go. Our secret is created. You can have multiple different versions of a secret. So if you were having your token run out every sort of 30 days or so, you could keep coming in and adding new versions of that token. Now that we've done that, let's head back to our previous page where we have the link, the branch name. And now we should be able to see our secret. I've misspelled secret, but never mind that we've just added to our secret manager, which we can then select. So now it has everything it needs in order to connect up to that Git repository and to validate with the access token. If I click link, you'll see a problem. And that problem is that the default service account doesn't have the necessary permissions in order to access secrets out of the box. So you're going to need to go to IAMs and you're going to need to add in those permissions. So let's quickly jump over to IAM. Let's find our data form service, add a role, which will just be secret manager accessor. Now, once again, we can head back over to data form into our repo. 
hotel settings, edit that connection, update, and now we're successfully linked. I left that in there just to demonstrate the default service account for Dataform doesn't have all the necessary permissions that you would think it would. The secrets is a good example, but you'll also need to give it BigQuery permissions um, in order for it to enact any actions within BigQuery. Now we've got this connected up to GitHub, we can go and create ourselves a workspace. The workspace is analogous to a branch within GitHub. So we will create a new development workspace and this will ask us for a name. Within the, the data form documentation, it recommends that you name a branch after a person. So potentially you'd have a different workspace or branch for each analyst. In this case, I'll put Matthew create, and then we've got our workspace created. I'm gonna click into this workspace. See, it's already added the readme in because it's found that within our GitHub repository, but there's nothing else in here right now. So the last thing we want to do is we want to initialize the workspace, which will bring in and create all the template files that are for data form that we can use as a kickoff point. It'll have all of the information about our project, et cetera, in our dataform.json. And it's, this is where we'd be starting off. We can commit those changes to our branch. So we'll select all of those changes. I'll just put initial commit. They're ready for commit. And now we can just push those up to the branch. And then if we visit our GitHub repository, we'll see that there's a new branch, Matthew. And within, we've got all of those files that were just created. And I can compare and pull that into the main branch, perhaps correct the spelling of initial. I'm not going into any detail here around the GitHub stuff. Your organization probably has its own best practices and ways of doing things within Git. Let's merge that, confirm, and then go back to our code. You'll see within main, we have all of these files that are from that workspace. If we wish, we can now sync back up with that main branch, which won't make a difference to ours. And that's it. So we have created a new repository. We have created a new workspace. We have hooked our data form up to GitHub. And we have initialized that initial workspace and synced that between data form and GitHub. And that's it for this week's Behind the Cloud. As always, if you want to keep up to date with any new videos that we release, please like and subscribe to be notified when those go up. We've got a long list of ideas and, and new things we can be exploring in Dataform and all of GCP. So keep in touch.